Hey guys, this is Wonton's iPod up, and today I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak the firmware 4.2.1 with Resno. And before I start, um, I warn you that if you use this jailbreak, your unlocked iPhone will be locked again. So if you want your iPhone to be unlocked, please do not use this jailbreak. And I'll show you which devices it is compatible with. So for tethered um, devices, the jailbreak is compatible with iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, the iPhone 4, iPad, iPod Touch 2nd gen MT model, the iPod Touch 3rd gen, and the iPod Touch 4th gen. The untethered devices are iPhone 3GS old boot ROM and iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2nd gen not MC model. So let's get started. First, you will need these two files. The first one is the iPod Touch firmware iPod Touch or iPhone firmware and the rest no program. So let's go to this site called felixbruns.de. Once you get to this site, whoops, once you get to this site, scroll down until you see this iPhone slash iPod Touch slash iPad slash Apple TV and scroll down until you can find your firmware and it says 4.2.1. So mine's the second gen iPod Touch non empty, so I'll get that firmware down there. So once you get that, it might take a while too because it's about like 300 megabytes per firmware. Get the Resno file, and I'll put the download links in the description below, so check it out down there. Once you get it, you should get this WAR file right here. Extract it and you have to get this. So once you get these two files, make sure your um, iPod Touch or iPhone is connected to the computer. So here's my iPod Touch, is connected. So it's connected after that, run the Resno program. And I'll ask for your IPSW, which is your firmware. So go to where you saved your firmware and open that up. And it'll process your firmware. So it might take a while. So it'll keep on waiting. While you wait, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. So, it will ask you if your iPod Touch 2nd Gen is an MC model. If it is, just press yes. If it's not, then press no. Then click on next and it will locate. So I'll pause this for a while until it locates. Once it's finished locating, doing all those stuff, just remember to get these two options, install Cydia and enable battery percentage, and remember to enable home screen wallpaper, enable multitasking, and you c these four options are optional. It's the install custom bundle, verbose boot, custom boot logo, custom boot re recovery logo, so I don't need to do that, so I just click on next. So make sure your eye touch is completely off now. So once it's completely off, get ready to do these steps. So press hold the power button for 3 seconds. And without releasing the power button, hold it down for 10 seconds. And remember to press next after you um, completely turn off the eye touch. And without releasing the home button, release the power button, keep on holding the home button for 10 seconds. No, not 10, but 15 seconds. And then it should be jailbreaking eventually. So you should get this white screen right here. That means it's working, so don't worry. And your iTunes might pop up saying iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. So don't worry. It's all the jailbreak. So it's downloading jailbreak data. And this might take a while, so let me pause this video. And I'll get back to you when it's finished. So once after you finish the jailbreak, you should get this Cydia white icon right here. So that's probably normal. So enter the Cydia, that's the white icon. 
and I had paused the video for a long time so Isha went through the weird um, matrix thing on your eye touch and Isha went through the flashing nor stuff so during that process please remember do not turn off your iPod touch or iPhone do not press the home do not try to restart or I'll mess your eye touch up really bad so it should be restarting after you go in Cydia So after you go inside city, it should restart your eye touch to come back out here. So go in and in again. And it should start to load. And I'm running out of battery guys, so this was how to jailbreak your eye touch or iPhone on the firmware 4.2.1. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and please follow me on twitter please subscribe comment like and rate bye guys and also check out my other videos